Um, thank you. Thank you for having me here today. Um, I do have a, a, a very interesting and exciting job right now. Um, Cree developed these LED programs a couple years ago to help accelerate the adoption of LED light. And um, after hearing some people talk here, you may understand we're having a street lighting conversation why we would want to accelerate the adoption of LED light besides sell more LEDs. Uh, according to the D Department of Energy, 22% of the energy in the U.S. goes toward lighting. So if you want to reduce your energy load, look at lighting. And I think that you um, will see that um, the technology of today and the future that's going to help you the most with that is LED lighting. Um, we um, work with cities, universities, and corporations, or what we call workplaces, to evaluate and deploy LED lighting where it makes good business sense. The way we are accelerating the adoption of LED light is working with the city, working with the university to try LED lighting. And as part of that, we, we try to gather the information that the cities need to build the business case. How much energy are you saving? Usually it's a pretty significant amount. It, the dollar amount may not be very high depending on how much you're spending, but I've got an example here um, that's actually in, in California that where the dollar amount was significant enough to make the business case on its own. Um, maintenance cost savings, that's typically where we see the large dollar amounts. And I'm lucky to be paired here with um, Mr. LED from uh, Raleigh, who um, can go into more detail about that. Uh, we, once we develop the business case and once we have uh, the numbers, we promote the heck out of that. We deal with media um, nationally, re nationally, regionally, and locally to uh, promote the concrete benefits of using LED light. Um, so our goal is to accelerate the adoption of LED light. The way we do that is we promote real LED installations that uh, municipalities and universities are doing today. The benefits of these programs are certainly you find out the concrete benefits of LED lighting, therefore you can move forward with additional installations, gaining additional energy savings and maintenance cost savings. We also get positive image building, media coverage, and uh, the community as it's being developed is an international community of cities, and there is starting to be uh, a, a very quick sharing of information so that as new fixtures and new applications can be addressed, uh, different cities are doing different evaluations. They can share that information amongst themselves. The program was launched in February 2007 with Raleigh as the lead city. Um, and I've got a, a picture of one, uh, I've got a slide coming up with some, uh, some examples of some of the work they're doing, and I'm sure Dan will talk further about that. Uh, Raleigh is very aggressive on LED lighting. The initial installation was a uh, floor of a parking garage, significant energy savings, but more importantly, the maintenance cost savings was dramatic, and the constituents of that parking garage liked the light better. It was better light. Something like 75% of the respondents felt safer in a parking in that parking garage, and that is another key issue. It's better light. So it's, it's a win. You save energy, you save maintenance, and it's a better light. People like it better. And um, to the point that was made before, LED light is a directional light. So for the Dark Skies Initiative, it's, um, it's very well suited to prevent light uh, trespass as long as the fixtures are designed correctly. We ask that participants conduct an initial evaluation um, with some of these uh, incentive packages we are all looking for. Uh, you might want to try doing a few, um, a few blocks of a street with some street lights. Try the floor of a parking garage. Do a conference room in one of your municipal buildings so that we can develop the business case and move uh, forward with that. I'm going to start showing some pictures because this is the best way to, to um, take a look at lighting. This is the Raleigh Convention Center. 
Um, this was not an ideal business case, as Dan can tell you, but they still came up with 45% uh, energy savings, better light, and about 700, that's 700, it's supposed to be $700,000 savings. Um, other cities in the program, Toronto, Austin, you can see the before and after of the Austin parking garage, Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor is uh, famous in the LED world. Everybody is interested in what they were doing. They spent five years working on, on perfecting LED uh, technology for their street lights. But well in Ontario, we have Tianjin China. Tianjin China is also using this as an economic developer. They want uh, more uh, companies designing and manufacturing LED lights. Not only do they need to save energy, but they, they are looking for um, an economic developer and they think LED light might be the way to go. Chiraca, Italy, went to 100% outdoor LED lighting. Anchorage is interesting. Anchorage, uh, uh, Mayor Baggage, who is now Senator Baggage, decided after a year of trials uh, with LED lights that he was going to switch all 16,000 of his street lights to LED lights. When they do that, they anticipate saving something more than $1.5 million a year. Indian Wells took one application, recessed can lighting, and con converted all of their interior and exterior lights to this application. They spent $8,000 on the fixture. They are returning $4,000 uh, on energy each year, so in two years it's all money back in their pockets, and that doesn't count maintenance. This is the website for the LED City program. Just uh, briefly cover our university programs. We have eight universities that are now in programs. They operate very similarly to uh, cities. We have a dormitory at NC State, a Dan Allen parking garage. The students there will tell you that they want to live in the dorm with the good lights. They want to park in that parking garage because it's safer. Then we have the LED workplace, and this is uh, more of a catch-all for other types of organizations that want to switch to LED light. We do the same thing. We work with them to develop the business case, and we've got some, some interesting and significant um, energy savings here as well. 